Dustin Pascal here with Simon Pascal PLLC with another legal tip for you. Today we're going to talk about the Genetic Information Non-Discrimination Act, otherwise known as GINA. Uh, this is a law that's uh, not that old, uh, but it is something that's included within the kind of the EEOC's realm of protection for employees, so something for employers to keep uh, in mind. Now, mind you, in, in fiscal year 2014, there were only 13 charges uh, related to GINA, uh, but it may get bigger and bigger. But the gist of it is that an employer cannot discriminate against an employee based on their genetic information or genetic history, as well as the employee's uh, family genetic information and genetic history. Uh, think of it along the lines of uh, if you find out an employee has a family history of cancer. Uh, and you want to prohibit uh, your uh, HR department from hiring that employee because you're afraid they may be out of work a lot if they end up getting cancer or they may make your uh, insurance costs go up, that would be a violation of GINA uh, because that's discriminating based on genetic information and genetic history. Um, one other quick thing in this uh, legal tip that you should know is that an employer cannot seek out an employee's genetic information or history. So an, an employer can't affirmatively go ask their employees about it. If they inadvertently learn about it, perfectly fine, uh, but they can't expressly go try to find it. Uh, now there are some exceptions to that with respect to company wellness programs or uh, leave requests under the Family Medical Leave Act. Obviously you're going to determine some genetic history uh, purposely uh, by doing that. So those are some exceptions, but as a general matter, employers cannot go seek that information out. So employers, be aware of the Genetic Information Non-Discrimination Act and make sure you're not violating it. Thanks.